things would need to be locked up forever hysteria that went on. They had, the, they had what they called the uh, West Memphis Three. Have you ever heard of that? They I have documentaries I, on it. I haven't, but huh? I mean, I think that's this is good. That's all good stuff. We should uh, we can talk about on this on this. We can, I can start. I can kick it off, and then we can start going into just start going into stories about it. And then when you should we, look that up. You should you should look up West Memphis Three on your on your computer, so you have some facts at hand to talk okay. about or to a to a discuss with that. Because Damian Eccles was the he was the main one. They 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 pinged him as the ringleader of this satanic cult out there in Arkansas or West Memphis or wherever the hell it was that they were. Uh, apparently, they were living on the border, and uh, he uh, and they gave him a life sentence. Actually, they gave him a death penalty. What am I talking about? They gave him a death penalty. They gave the other two kids life sentences and locked them up. And he was did his whole entire time in administrative segregation. And eventually, after 18 years of being in, in, in prison, uh, they uh, were exonerated. These three guys, they, they didn't do the crimes they were accused of, oh, and they were let out. I think I do know the story, actually. And, but they, to get out, they, they, they came to them and told them, look, we'll let you out, but you have to sign you have to sign a confession saying that you're guilty. You have to sign a guilty thing. Same, and so that you can't come back and sue us and get money from the state for uh, uh, us for for us having incarcerated you and uh, and told the whole world that you were Satanist and murder and murdered three children and all this. <clears throat> but he talks a lot about what happened to him, the effects of of segregation. He's written books about it, books about it, and he's been on television. As a matter of fact, I think I saw him on a on the view one time where he was talking about it he walks with a cane now he says the reason why he walks with a cane is for, is from being in segregation and he says his, his vision went bad in there because he never was looking at anything further than the cell cell walls they, so yeah i mean the, the physical parts of his uh time and seg just uh he would fell to pieces I will say this: He seems, at least, to have maintained his sanity. This story huh? is awful. It gets, yeah. it gets, it just gets fucking worse. Like it's, like I haven't even gotten to the point where they've convicted him yet, but it's just getting, this is getting crazier and crazier. The only reason I say I, I brought this guy up, I'm like thinking, man, these guys are using this one case as their example. Of course, that's is that. Are you reading from the actual lawsuit, or is that an article? I'm reading from the the Britannica website, the encyclopedia. That's where this is. Uh, <clears throat> Holy crap! That's where this is about. One of its I leading, don't understand that. but one of the leading witnesses against him had an IQ of seventy two. That was, I think, that was one of the guys I get a live sentence to. Uh, no, and that, whenever it all came out, that huh? Okay, no, you're right. Yeah, you're right. That is. <laughs> yeah, because whenever, whenever, uh, whenever the the tide had finally changed and he had gotten some attention finally, and uh, they started reviewing his case, and they found, and it was becoming more and more obvious that they could not have possibly. Uh, murdered these children, and not only did they not murder these children, that there was never even a satanic murder. All this crap that the cops had, had made up was ridiculous. They, they it was pure hysteria. I'm, I'm, I mean, a, a modern day witch hunt in the truest sense of the word. But they are. the prosecution also introduced evidence it believed incriminating, such as the fact that Eccles read Stephen King and listened to Metallica. That's, just like, that's what they did to me. That's how they convicted me. They bought my comic books up uh, that I was reading in print, uh, you know, things like that. They brought people, man, they tried to, oh my God, I don't even want to get into that crap. They, that, could, <laughs> that could spoil my mood going down that hole. But uh, <clears throat> no, yeah, that, that, that was like I'm saying, that, that, that was a part of the, of the, in that day and age in the early 90s, they had a, a real hysteria 
about kids, these cops, they would, they, a crime would happen. And then the cops would immediately claim, they would come up with the wildest, craziest theories as to what happened and apply it. And then the media would run with it. They, I mean, they, it took all that. I mean, throughout the whole 90s, you could not convince anybody in the media that Damon, Damian Eccles was not some kind of satanic uh, cult leader. Well, they were convinced. Uh, do you maybe maybe we should talk? Him. Maybe we should talk about that because here's the thing about that because I read I read like three sentences in and I already knew where this story was going because one of the things I had to research one of the things I studied while when I was in prison as part for my college degree was um, basically uh, I can't remember what class it was in it wasn't criminology it was some different class but. For, um, I've read, I studied up on cult crimes and occult crimes. And crimes, they tr- they have a really hard time keeping track of how many of these Satan worship crimes, like how many people are killed due to, due to Satan worship. And sometimes the, the number is really high. I'm going to look at, try and find out. Um, but... The number may be actually zero. There may have never been anyone killed for Satan worship in this country. But they but the thing is, is whenever they bring it up, it always There's looks, people that want to believe that though. There's so many right. people that want it's the craziest shit. Right. Whenever they whenever they and all they gotta do is flash your face on TV and there's a murder that happens or somebody's dead, and the reason why is because you're a Satanist. And, and man, I'm talking about that is so devastating. I mean, your your case is lost from the beginning due to the hysteria that's going to surround your case, right? Because you're and if you're a teenager like Damian Eccles at the time, <laughs> you're double lost because you have no money and you don't know shit about shit that, or how to fight a case anyway. Oh yeah, well he already had he had mental issues from the beginning, so Damian Eccles. Yeah, Damian Eccles. Really, I didn't know that. I think that's what it was saying. I'll double check. Cause... I, I didn't know if that was him or if that was the other the other guy. The the one that they gave the the life sentence to the other one that that uh, testified against him he... that uh, signed that he signed the uh, witness statement or signed the confession and all that other stuff. He okay. he whenever they even even whenever they finally you know came back and said, look, uh, uh, yeah, your case has been reopened, and then it went to him and said, all you got to do is. Is a sign a sign a uh, some kind of a I don't know a, a confession or a, or a guilty statement and we'll let you go. He refused to do it because prison. He was so this this guy was a so profoundly ret- I don't so, I don't want to say profoundly retarded, but he, he was so uh, you know I, I I'm not even sure what the word is, but. He liked it there, and he didn't want want to be released. This time in prison was, you know, he, he had grown so accustomed to it over that eighteen years, he didn't want to leave. And so Damian Eccles, who was facing the death penalty, I mean, his time was ticking away at that point. <laughs> had to uh, work some real magic to get word to this guy to get him to actually sign the papers to get him out. Whenever he was on the View, what was the name of that conservative girl that was married to the football player that was on the View for a while? I think it was Elizabeth Hasselbeck. I want to say it was her name, oh, right? That might be, yeah. Elizabeth she was married to some to some football player named Hasselbeck. When whenever Damian Eccles was on the View, that was the era that it was that he was on. She was like, I, I still don't understand this. I can't understand what you're trying to tell me. Why would you sign papers saying that you're guilty? Why would you sign? A, why would you? And he was and he's looking at her. He's like, I was in prison for 18 years on death row. And my time was ticking away. I was at, I mean, they had issued a, 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 a execution date. <laughs> if, any of you, if you're in that situation, I don't care what they offer you, what you have to do to get out, you're going to take it. She okay. just couldn't get it through her head. She was, she was like looking at him like, what the hell's wrong with you? Why would you sign? A con- <laughs> no, that's, they, they had a, um, uh, actually like the, the, the episode, Last week's episode, not this week's, on uh, last week tonight, 
they did police confessions on John Oliver and they actually uh, showed that they, they, they showed a clip of the, is the NBC or the CBS news anchor talking about a guy who a journalist who, and the journalist said, he's like, cause he, he says like, the more and more I investigated this, the more I realized that these guys were telling the truth, that they, they didn't do this. And, it, and then the, the, the interviewer goes, but they, they confessed, they, they confessed. He's like, yeah. It's like, I know, but they didn't do it. And then, and, and then he comes back and then like, he comes back again. He's like, yeah, but they confessed. And he's like, he's like, <laughs> and, 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 the, and then the journalist who's been, can't. he can't get it through his head. And he's like, yeah. and, and, and so the journalist finally has to come through. He's like, yeah, but you don't understand what they put this guy through to get him to confess. And then at the end of the whole, like, so John Oliver goes through and explains how this confession works. Cause he's, cause he explains, this is the gold standard of, um, uh, of evidence is a confession. They call it the gold standard. So they're always trying to get a confession. So then he makes this clip called the confestigators and they and and what they do is they have these two comedians and they're 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 the cops and they come in and there's a guy sitting at the the interrogation table and they're just they're, they're doing they're doing all the things that John Oliver just talked about just trying to just just uh sit in there and that there's actually there is a there's a training that John Oliver talks about there's a there's an actual training they go through that teaches that explains on how to get someone to confess that is based on mm-hmm. zero scientific fact. And he says, unlike it says, if you, if they look away from you, that means they're not telling the truth. But if they look at you too much, then they're not telling the truth. <laughs> so you can basically get it any, you can make anything so that this is, not... the, this is the cop. This is the actual training that police officers go through or the detectives go through that. Yeah. It's called the read method, R E I D the read method. And yeah. so it shows them using the read method. And then and that like, was the whole, that was the whole, uh, that, that was a big part of my case. They brought the detective that, that, uh, invent, that, uh, did the, uh, interrogation with me in there. And he was saying, well, you know, uh, just his body language just telling me he was lying. <laughs> right. <laughs> type of things. You, 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 you just being uncomfortable in that room has enough body language to tell him that you were lying. And that's, that's based on this method. And, the, and, and like it, you, you have to, you got to watch this, this episode. I'll have to send it to you. And then you, I don't have to watch it. I lived it. I know what the fuck they do to you in one of those interrogation rooms. But there you I know why they don't have. To. Why they don't have cameras in there and why they don't record in, interrogations. But there's still that should be the biggest evidence ever that the shit's not legitimate. They refuse to bring a camera in there because they don't want the public to see what the fuck they're doing to you to get the confession. Oh, the best thing is is they can they can choose what part they present. So they can so Oh trust y- Yeah, I I know you they know. They did exactly that. They did exactly that to me. They took bits and pieces of of, of, of what I told them happened that day. And put that into a, and then typed up a story and told me if I didn't put my name on it, they were going to give me the death penalty. But, um, I'm going to open this bottle. Okay. Oh. But you could, I'm not drinking, it's not beer, it's coffee. That's, that's but it comes okay. in there. That's okay. It's a cold brew coffee. Don't, don't panic. I'm not panicking. That's all right. Um, but so what, what was I trying to say? Uh, so I can, get wired up on that subject too oh geez but no oh, but here's the greatest part so they go um so at the end of this bit so they go through and finally after like the guy's like uh they finally get this guy to confess at the end of the the bit and uh they and then another officer walks in with a guy in handcuffs and she's like oh man sorry that took so long here's here's uh your suspect and <laughs> And the, the other cops don't even look at her. They're like, we don't need another suspect. We already got this one to confess. And it's like, it's like, like, who are you? And, and it's like, it's like, I just came in here to charge my cell phone. And they all start laughing. 
and they're, they're, they're just con- they're all they're all laughing, and then the other officer uncut handcuffs the the the, the suspect she just brought in, and they're all laughing. And he's like, "Well, can I go now?" No, <laughs> you you are not going anywhere. <laughs> this is a was this a comedy skit or was this a real thing? This is a comedy skit. Like a- this is a comedy skit. Oh, okay. But they but they before the comedy skit they break down the real thing. And here's the best part. The same training method that, that the officers probably were trained on for you, the same video that they watched, they're still selling. They still they <clears throat> still sell it on DVD and it cost a hundred dollars. And it oh, looked yeah. they showed clips of it on there and of of them doing it. It is it's freaking it's eighties. It, it's uh and, and they have like they show one clip is, um, I think, is a woman pretending to be a prostitute. Another one is a guy pretending to be a sex offender. It's <laughs> <laughs> cool. and, and and how and they're supposed to be showing they're they're showing how to how to read someone and how their body language can change, and, and like you know, like they're asking him is like it, it's like so did you have sex with those kids? I would never. Like that's what the that's what's on the video. It's like, see how he turned away and he averted his gaze. He's clearly lying. My whole your freedom hangs in the balance of that. Yeah, exactly. So, Whether or not you turn your head at the wrong time, it doesn't. That's the thing. It doesn't matter. That was that was the whole point of what he was talking about. He's like, it doesn't matter. It's because they can yeah. get they can get anyone to confess to anything because they just browbeat them and anything can be interpreted as lying. Because that's what they're looking for. Yeah. <clears throat> the Shakedown is recorded in luxurious Longmont Public Media Studios. And our theme song, Shakedown, is provided by Envato Elements. <laughs>